Sound is physical. It is energy. Sound is your perception of the movement of air molecules. Sound waves undulate at different frequencies and amplitudes. They vary in their pitch, tone, frequency, in their loudness, pressure level, amplitude. They can be pure, but more often they are complex in nature. They signal the arrival of a new baby and the passing of a loved one. They bring us joy, happiness, sadness, and anger. They make us move to the beat of our own drum and to others. Sounds call to us, sing to us, and can hurt us. Your ear, that funny protrusion on the side of your head, your pinna. We decorate it with dangly things, shiny things, precious and not so precious metal things, and plastic. It serves as a funnel, as a net with no holes. It must capture the sound waves as they travel past your head. They must capture the waves and bring them into your head, down that long hallway to your eardrum, where they knock ever so gently. The middle ear, the vast openness filled with three tiny, very tiny bones, ossicles, the stapes, the incus, the malleus, the stirrup, the anvil, the hammer. They work together and mechanically to boost the signal. They work in concert with one another to make the sound louder. They cooperate towards the common goal of augmenting the sound. They must, for after this chamber of air, sound must make its way through fluid in the next part of the journey. And without amplification, the voice will be lost forever. The inner ear, the inner chamber, the fluid-filled, snail-like structure full of transducing hairs. The cochlea with its membranes and cilia, inner and outer. The basilar membrane with its varied thickness and thus its changing proclivity for frequencies. As the sound waves travel from the base to the apex, it <laughs> seeks out its happy place, its resonance place. <laughs> And when it does, a cascade of mechano-electrical events like no other in the nervous system transpires. The hair cells bend and stretch, and a neuronal call is placed. The action potential is initiated. The brain receives the message and awaits the next command. <laughs>